Black Widows are scary. That much is true. But did you know that one Black Widow was the very first animal ever cloned? Seriously, it was in 1952. A scientist took a Black Widow spider and split it into two. The clone lived just as long as the original and scientists could tell them apart, only by their genetic makeup. They were identical in every other way. But that wasn't the only time a Black Widow made headlines for something shocking. In 2018, a woman found this Black Widow spider in her home. She had no idea it had been living there for weeks. But once she saw it, she did what anyone else would do, and posted about it on Reddit. Soon enough, people were telling her that this particular kind of Black Widow was not venomous at all. So she picked up the spider and put it on her finger like it was no big deal. Then she got bit. When it happened, she felt a little stinging sensation, and then her finger started to burn. And when she took the spider off her finger, she realized it had bitten her twice. Immediately, her whole hand swelled up, and she went to the hospital, where doctors gave her an antivenous. Thankfully, she survived and was able to make a full recovery. Now that essay story that could have ended very differently. Because while most black widows are human dangerous to humans, there are some species that can kill you in less than an hour. But even though these spiders are infamous for being deadly, they're actually in danger themselves. Habitat destruction has led to a decline in black widow numbers. And on top of that, people keep killing them on sight, without understanding that most of them aren't venomous. But if you want to see a black widow in person, you should probably go to Texas. That's where the most famous Black Widow ever lived. Her name was Charlotte, and she was born in 1986. At first, she was just another Black Widow, laying eggs, eating roaches, and hiding from predators. But in 1999, things changed when a boy found her in a woodpile and brought her home as a pet. Charlotte became famous for weaving beautiful webs that were up to three feet in diameter. People would come from all over to see her, and she even got her own exhibit at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Sadly, Charlotte passed away in 2014, but you can still visit her grave at the museum. And if you want to get closer to her web, you might want to bring a friend. After all, even non-venomous black widows can be dangerous if they feel threatened. But spiders aren't the only ones who benefit from having a friend around. You will too, because now you can share this video with someone else.